Palaroga Shark Media. Hello and welcome to a special bonus episode of Palace Intrigue. Where is Kate? For two months, the press has gone along with the official version that Kate had abdominal surgery and was recovering. But William's sudden change of plans this week has shifted the narrative with the tabloids now wondering where the princess is. The Mirror went as far as printing. One particularly bizarre theory suggested the princess is actually in Miami, where she is recuperating from a Brazilian butt lift. The Mirror added, another theory suggested Kate is Banksy, while yet another said she has donated a kidney to the king. Banksy, it should be noticed, has not been heard from since Kate went in the hospital. The news.co.au broke ranks reporting that in early February, journalist Concha Caleja turned up on Spanish TV to say that she had spoken to an aide from the royal household in a completely off-the-record manner, and that the princess had been in great danger after the operation. Kaleha reportedly said the doctors had to take drastic decisions at that moment because of the complications that arose. The decision was to put her in an induced coma. They had to intubate her. There were serious complications that they didn't expect because the operation went well, but the post-operative period didn't go so well. The concern in the royal household was palpable. It was about saving her life. A palace source told the Times, It's total nonsense. It's fundamentally totally made up. And I'll use polite English here. It's absolutely not the case. Kate has not been seen since Christmas, which is, of course, Christmas, a day when the royals are normally seen. The palace is sticking with Kate continues to be doing well. A representative told Page Six, Kensington Palace made it clear in January the timelines of the princess recovery and we'd only be providing significant updates. That guidance stands. They also added the language that Kate is doing well. GB News host Darren Grimes said, We have reached a point where the palace are threading a very fine line. When the palace have been spilling the beans about the king's health openly and honestly, it sets a precedent. So until we get the full 10 yards from Kate and William's corner, the rumour mill is going to keep on churning. With the palace playing their cards close to their chest, at least Kensington Palace, this tale is going to whip up one hell of a storm. Royal Insider Deep Crown tells us, William must have been fully aware that his absence would set the tabloids ablaze with speculation. Now we're caught in a whirlwind of where is Kate rumours, and yet there is a conspicuous silence on their part to quell the chatter. Elizabeth managed to meet with Liz Truss and was dead two days later. That we haven't seen Catherine is all rather curious, isn't it? Author Rachel Hawkins made the observation, apparently you can tell the British press to stand down, and they will if the princess you're trying to protect isn't black. Hawkins notes the lack of any photos as curious, saying, it would be so easy to do the softest of softball photo ops statements, and they're just not. And Charles is doing that kind of thing, so the contrast is striking, she wrote. William has resurfaced, although offered no information as to what went on the other day. William visited a synagogue to engage with young individuals dedicated to combating anti-Semitism. This event marks Prince William's second recent public effort, highlighting the increasing concern over anti-Semitism and the ongoing distress in the Middle East. William expressed strong opposition to anti-Semitism and mentioned Kate saying, anti-Semitism has no place in our society. Both Catherine and I are extremely concerned about the rise of anti-Semitism. This visit, initially scheduled around Holocaust Memorial Day, was delayed due to Kate Middleton's abdominal surgery, but was promptly rescheduled, demonstrating the importance placed on this engagement by the palace. Palace Intrigue will be right back. In the Daily Mail, Richard Kay writes, Never in memory have the royals had so many troubles at once. If not yet a crisis for the House of Windsor, it's getting perilously close. According to Kay, Bad news, as the proverb has it, comes in threes. A king fighting cancer, a princess stricken by an unknown debilitating illness and vanished prince with no explanation for his absence have contributed to a febrile and dangerously unsettled atmosphere. Just why William was unable to attend the memorial service for his godfather, a man with whom he enjoyed a uniquely poignant bond, remains unknown. However, the most cursory of glances at the rampant speculation on social media ought to persuade even the most unyielding of royal aides that wherever there is a vacuum surrounding a public figure, it will be filled. There has been unease ever since the King's Cancer diagnosis was revealed, together with the Princess of Wales' unspecified medical problems. 
Kate has not been seen since Christmas, and when William pulled out of his godfather's memorial service, where he was due to give one of the readings, rumours abounded that it must be due to his wife's health. The palace refused to say whether his non-attendance had anything to do with Kate, although it added that the princess was recovering well. What they would not be drawn on was what the personal matter was that kept him away from Windsor, where, incidentally, he lives. Of course, William has every right not to share private and quite possibly deeply personal concerns with either the media or the public, but that silence has been a gift to conspiracy theorists. All in all, we know precious little. We don't know how ill the king is or what kind of cancer he is being treated for, nor do we have a clue about Kate's health, apart from an initial statement that she had undergone planned abdominal surgery. It is against this backdrop that the stability of the royal family, which for all the years of the late queen's reign we took for granted, suddenly looks to be in jeopardy. Never in modern memory have the royals had so many multiple troubles at the same time. What is all the more extraordinary is that the task of keeping the show on the road should fall to the very woman who was once seen as a threat to the monarchy, but is now celebrated as its saviour. And there you have it. If you'd like to email us, our address is thepalaceintrigue at gmail.com. Please follow us on Spotify, Apple, or your app of choice, and you can get all the alerts for these special bulletins. I'm Mark Francis. My thanks to John McDermott. This is Palace Intrigue. Good times. Good times.